make his way all the way around the tower, and it might just be good unless... Okay, now he's going to put himself... Yeah, okay, he thought there was some way to make that one through, but is not able to do so, and he will get uh, crawled into a corner, and first blood goes the way of Hani. Okay. <laughs> now, supports get what they were hoping for, at least in the end. Man. Syndrome can really do all too much here. And again, every it's single just... time this rotation spotted out, you, you can double see... raise it. Quite far. One... And another one okay. coming in, Invis, but oh no, the raise misses. He doesn't have enough mana for the mid-range raise, so he actually completely misses out on that kill. Now got to be locked inside the cogs, but Miracle will gladly fight that one out. Telekinesis over the side, and a long-range raise comes in in time. This time, Miracle finds the kill. Uh, Mind control, he's done so. He, uh, every single time sinnerin has been spotted out by this ward, which has been so valued for them, he's been playing a lot more aggressively into that duo lane, but it looks like his aggression... He's getting a decent amount of farm and XP out of this lane, already close to level 5, and it's not really the end of his game that he's died a couple of times, although has set Era up to be in a very good position as far as his farm goes on Ember. My controls come in and found Hani once again, going to put some decent pressure onto him. They've got GH here with the Caustic Finale pop going down. They are going to be able to pick up this kill, and without a support, Era can't really fight Mind Control either. So, nice rotation from G so. Cinderin, nice you play. sneaky bugger. Look at you. Gets around Matu, manages to catch him with the Cogs. is going to be pushed out of said Cogs. Uh, Cogs do get a little bit more damage onto Matu, and it looks like they've got him dead. Managed to pick up with the Battery Assault where he left off. So... Nice uh, rotation from Cinderin, despite all formidable. Uh, the Shukuchi is not bad damage. The Swarm, as we talked about earlier, is, is uh, rather devastating if you can't address that uh, bug issue. Cinderin, they know about this one thanks to the Dire Scan. He's going to try and wrap into the Shrine area to catch Miracle here. Now, this it is, so is going to cool. be a little bit of tough, and that's why he needs another TPN. They're going to have the Sun Strike on top of the Battery Assault, and Miracle is down. I'm not sure about that big play of aggression from him. That was insane. I, I mean, it's it's space for bottom lane. I guess his team's telling him like, all right, we're putting pressure bottom. They may respond to this, but even without the shadow demon, I'm pretty sure he dies to that top lane. Oh, era. Era. he's got the wand. He's got the burrow strike. He's got him. Uh, yeah. That is but a big now, kill. This, the escape isn't really there. Cinderin would love this kill to get him towards that level 6. Mind Control can tuck him. He's going to receive a heal now. Trixie, low on mana, is going to bring Mind Control a little bit lower, but not low enough to go for the kill. Instead, they're going to pick up GH. Era's managed to lock him down, and they will throw out the remnant. GH definitely dodges it, but there's only so much you can do on that slow support. Kuro banging the drums in the side. It may turn into an awkward accidental bump. Oh, the Hani actually stops the disruption there. Uh, but the silence was forced on Hani. Instead, they are going to be able to hit the hook shot. Cinderin separates Matu from the rest of his team. They're going to be able to lock him down again with the Sun Strike. They make quick work of whatever heroes inside those Kongs. Mind Control is going to be next up. Bros his way deep into the trees and will manage to get that TP. Nicely played. Curl was the other casualty. Very easily clean damage. It does seem to be one of the uh, the strategies and just general uh, maybe principles of Liquid. How to be able to buy space for each other. Nip are going to be able to set up a sun strike here on a GH. Quickly right click him down. Liquid thought they were going to have an opportunity for aggression with that invis, but GH left alone in this bottom lane. A little bit of presence, just keeping this push back. And if Nip commits serious resources to killing him, GH I'm sure won't be too sad. Actually doesn't manage to get the Shikuchi. I think Trixie planning around that one throws out the swarm. That is, uh... Needs to be careful not to get caught out here. Miracle is hunting. Oh, it does seem like maybe Nip have made this read nice. They're going to be able to get the disruption, slow him down. The Sun Strike actually misses, but they will still easily kill Miracle with the help of the Soul Catcher. Liquid are trying to put the pressure on mid now. See if they can kind of try and force Kuro to use his spells preemptively and knock it off the best Kaelic offering in the fight. Trixie. Hook shot. There it is. They're going to go straight for GH. Mind Control does manage to stop some of that damage. Faked out. Kuro actually holding on to the Chaotic Offering, seeing that GH was definitely dead and is going to wait for a better opportunity. Maybe Trixie here with the Silence up. Another stun. Now he's going to drop the Chaotic Offering. Cinderin comes in, but now the ultimate goes out for Miracle. Era gets bounced back just like that, and Matu actually survives through all of that. Hani is going to be the extra cleanup here. Sunstrike. Oh, he tried to have a guess at where Matu was at in Viz, but... Doesn't quite hit him. Koifa not able to get...
that big objective in Roshan, which means, as we talked about last game, right, that first Aegis could be used as leverage to take the Tier 2's bottom lane. They're going to go for GH. GH gets chained up, unable to steal the Remnant, so we won't have an escape mechanism there. Yeah, quite a few deaths on GH this game. He's kind of playing that role where it's like, all right, someone go push out this bottom lane. It's a bit of a dangerous place to be. You don't want to send your Shadow Fiend or Drow down there. All right, let's send the Rubik then. Unfortunate that Nip are prioritizing killing him as much as they are, but it's not the the biggest loss for Liquid at the same time. Kuro's a little bit bigger of a kill with the Hand of Midas. He's got a, a little bit more net worth to work with, but he can't finish him off. Now the silence on Trixie. Matu turns the whole thing around with the help of Mind Control. They will still get that tier two at bottom lane, and that is power taken, and Hani now in deep as a oh. blink dagger will get found. Got to be picked up here. Mind Control pops the Sandstorm, stopping any disruption. Turns around, tries to get whatever damage. Oh, he actually has him. Oh, the power of Shadow Demon, man. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, supposed to be ahead. And I don't think they're getting far enough ahead as they feel like they should. Only 4K gold and about uh, 3,000 experience at this point. Trixie coming in with a double damage, trying to threaten mind control. Another Sun Strike is going to be off point. Oh, Trixie commits, but can't quite finish him off. Now, Era's going to make some commitment of his own, but he's beaten back by Miracle. Now, stunned up, and he may lose his life. It costs mind control his own, but that's okay. The Ember Spirit was well worth it. Cinderic comes in, hits the hook shot onto the friendly creep, but does manage to close the distance with Miracle, hoping to be able to lock him down with the Meteor. They've got him down. That is big. Nip actually buying back now as Era sees the opportunity, and it's a big one, too. They can get Matu here as well, the Sun Strike, this time it'll be on point. Koifa picks up the triple kill, and a buyback from Era in part help lead to a set waiting on those BKBs that they all have queued up in their quick buys. I mean, they've got the rock, but I don't think that necessarily is enough to fight with. And speaking of which, Kuro is found. 40 seconds without Warlock means. This last T2 tower, possibly shrines, or even... ...from that push, looks like Mind Control's yeah. presence by himself was enough to keep Nip a little bit uh, wary of that. Mid... Oh, nice catch-up. Disruption right before the TP cancel out. Miracle will be ripped apart by his own illusions and Cinderin. It's very... It feels like Miracle is just kind of not into objectives, into a... A decisively one game and that's what they need to be doing now even though their lamp can scale they've reached a peak now they the bkbs aren't up just yet they've gotten ages there's no point giving liquid the time and space to finish uh the bkb on shadow Fiend if you can push now oh silence onto trixie but they are going to be able to get the cinder and hook in with double inside the cogs if eric can actually get inside there they can lay out some big time damage the bkb is activated and now they have the epicenter canner cinder tries to make his way back but it's going to be caught by gh into a burrow strike that'll be a one kill but era actually turns back in tries to go for miracle but now he's been silenced up and he's going to be losing that aegis unless the disruption save from hani can buy him some time koifa comes in nice ice wall there holding miracle in place era will finally lose his aegis but that's okay they got one big core out of liquid and they look to catch more. Mind Control gets away. Detected, it seems, by Liquid. They know how important this shrine is above all else to be able to control that Roshan pit. They can't afford to give up another Aegis. Trixie, it looks like he got caught, though. Mind Control and Matu. Maybe it was with the gem of Mind Control's managed to uh, spot him out, get a big kill, and he... Any shrine still, there's still a tower at bottom lane, so they are a bit more limited in their options as far as Liquid go. Miracle starts coming forward. They do have the remnant. They are hoping to be able to jump something, but it's an illusion. They jump instead. Now Cinderin managed to get the hook and a four staff away. Still eliminated, though, by Miracle's physical damage. Miracle has to make his way out of this one, though. He's going to pop the ultimate towards the end of his BKB, but on the left-hand side, Mind Control has been caught by Era and Koifa. Now Matu, slowed down by the purge of Trixie, is going to be forced into a BKB of his own. Very rapidly, the defensive power of Liquid is dwindling. Matu, he actually managed to get the TP out, but Miracle won't be as lucky. He gets a disruption out from Hani, and the team is just going to lamb blast him with all that damage they're going to be able to pull him down to his death and gh very likely to follow him to the grave as well as hani and era manage to snatch him out near the ancients three down all in exchange for just little old cinderin who made that nice initiation what what illusion was that was that a disruption bait 
Almost run into Koifa that actually burst strike forward. I think his smoke popped, so he wanted to move forward, but now Nipsey everything and mind control's the one in trouble. Force staffs away, but a nice hook shot. Sindarin catches two, but can't get the the cogs off and just gets eliminated. GH manages to get the quick burrow strike. Mind control leading arrow on a merry chase here with his force staff will finally be brought down. Crow tried to come in and give him a heal, but now he's in the wrong position against Koifa and Trixie. He will be duoed up. They actually have the vision of Miracle. He's gonna be forced to pop his BKB, try and TP. World class high ground defense with the SF illusions. Oh, that's definitely the, a big one. Uh, yeah, that, not putting onto the racks, they will get taken out. Just zoning the SF out, knowing that this will free up the space. Oh, there it is, the Ep initiation. Epi onto Koifa, but the Lincolns managed to protect him for the Burrow Strike, so there wasn't any real good hold. They finally get a Yule Scepter onto Koifa, but he managed to get down to Way with a Ghost Walk. Oh, Cinderin! He was halfway through the hookshot uh, uh, animation to be able to get away from this one. Mind Control has been stunned up. Does get out another stun, but Koifa blocks it again with the Lincolns. And now they've got a disruption onto a Draw Ranger with Miracle Slow down on the side. This is rapid turning disastrous for Liquid as they come out immediately get rebuffed. They just get taken out like that with a Meteor combination. They lose Matu. They get a drop GH as well. Miracle's left alone now to defend a lot. With the buyback, they still want to take this Rax in mid lane. They've taken at least the tower and with the Alacrity Invoker. They can take more. Miracle comes forward. Now the Chaotic Offering. They look to blow up Koi, but they've got him dead. 90 seconds down. But Nip have bought everything they needed with that Aegis push. They forced a buy. The tier 3 is beginning to drop. 30 seconds left for Koifa's Invoker. Nip, are they going to give in to this pressure? Now Hani, going to be caught. They're going to be able to get the Burrow Strike onto him. Shrine activated, but it's not enough to save him. But Cinderin managed to get the hook shot onto two, locking them in. But they both get a force staff outside of the cogs. BKB activated, but Miracle can't make his way out like Matu can. He's too low HP. So he turns around and tries to go for the ultimate. Tornado! Oh! It was just a slip. Cells with an SF buyback, but at least a kill on Quick that could set them up for success. Force staff over the cogs and a push back. Now Era actually commits here forward with the BKB. Double remnant use. Kuro, he's going to be caught inside the shrine he's taken apart Cinderin, similar story here he has a ghost scepter to fall back on a disruption hook but he hooks into his own illusions won't be able to make it out mind control gets taken out though Trixie's up next with the silence not able to do enough though Matu can't output the damage they're trying to hold on to this buyback of miracles and use mind controls instead missing out on the stun on Trixie now Matu in serious trouble get silence up push back the combination is there but a disruption saved from GH is not going to be enough a tornado catches Matu on the way out Trixie will help clean it up now now they're left with no buyback on the draw ranger for 90 seconds and it seems like that win condition that small little opportunity that liquid have is now closed they're gonna come back with the sf but they will still have to fight this one at bare minimum four versus four jump in epicenter combination it pulls up trixie they do manage to hold at least one telekinesis forward they go for invoker he gets a yule scepter manages they're going to take the high ground where the former Dire Shrine was, and it's Liquid who are going to now take the low ground with their smoke out. They run into Hani. He managed to get the initiation there, but it's just a support. They can bring him down. Almost no gets a force staff to the high ground. Cinderin pops the Ghost Scepter, and their initiation from Liquid doesn't actually catch anything. Now Mind Control stuck out in the high ground. He's done for. Era comes in big. Gets a lot of damage on Matsu, tries to go for a desperate TP out, but doesn't actually make it. With this high ground advantage, Liquid can't output any damage. Kuro, he gets a force staff to the high ground, quickly followed up by Trixie, takes him down. Triple kill for the Trickster, and now is going to be Nip, full five man. The end of Liquid if they don't come back to defend. <laughs> the uh, stolen disruption from GH will give a lot more credibility to this push, as backdoor protection is down from a single range creep and siege creep, but... Tier 4 is already dead, and these heroes are being threatened now by Hani alone. Throws out the ultimate miracle. He knows the end game is nigh, and the throne is going to fall. That's it. GG is called Liquid. Lose game number two. Ninja's pajamas tie the series up, and we're going to go.